Welcome back to the channel, Cooking with Manual Focus, and today we making some country fried steak. Some people say chicken fried steak, it don't matter what you call it, it's great, delicious. Now we got some good gravy, some buzzing gravy going on top of that. Enjoy this recipe, come join me down at the workstation. So the key to some good country fried steak is all in seasoning that flour. So you got to make sure that your flour is perfectly seasoned. So we got a cup and a half of buttermilk. So my little helper here, he's going to pour that buttermilk in the bowl. Awesome. And then we got two eggs, right? Yep. So we're going to put... As we crack it. As you crack it, it's amazing. It's a really yummy, Daddy. Oh, this is going to be all the way yummy. Yep, it is. Buddy. He's going to whisk those ingredients together. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Yeah, it's so yummy. Yep, this is going to be yummy. So we're going to let these cube steaks marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour and then bring them out. So let's go back to seasoning your flour. So this is what I'm using. I'm going in there with my all purpose seasoning, the usual. And I'm telling you, man, this is a fantastic seasoning that you can use for various dishes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these cube steaks. We're going to put it in this flour mixture and then we're going to get this thing coated with this flour. So now we're going to be also double dipping. And the reason why we're going to double dip these cube steaks is we want to have an extra crispy exterior crust on those um, country fried steaks so you want to double dip that thing and again you see me right here i'm just making sure that thing is nice and coated and here's the key anytime you're frying food make sure you let that thing rest so those ingredients can marinate and they can stick to whatever you're cooking fryer is up to 350 degrees that's that perfect temperature to come out golden brown so when it's golden brown like you see here it's ready to go golden brown perfectly fried now what we're going to do is we're going to make some delicious gravy so i got two tablespoons of the oil that we use in that country fried steak then i got two tablespoons of flour now you know it's all in that wrist action so the first step to this is just making sure that you cook that flour taste out of that flour right and then like i said it's in the wrist action after that now we're going to add some milk and then we're just going to hit that wrist action again and we're going to make sure these ingredients are starting to marry and don't worry about the clumps if you got some clumps just add some extra milk into it and then go back to that wrist action as you see me here and those clumps will dissolve and if you like your gravy on the thin side then you know don't cook it as long but if you like it on you know a thick gravy then you take it a little bit further then you got the perfect gravy so now what you want to make sure is salt and pepper to taste right so you got to salt and pepper that gravy and then it's just about that presentation. Now you got those golden brown country fried steaks on that plate with that gravy. And if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. If you've been rolling with me for a while, man, I'm about to smash into these country fried steaks, man. We'll see you guys later. Peace.